Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Servlet Initialization Parameters. In this video, you will learn what servlet initialization parameters are, how to set initialization parameters, and you'll learn how to retrieve the initialization parameters to use them in your code. An initialization parameter is a variable that can be set to be initialized when a servlet object is instantiated. We define it when we create the servlet. The definition will be stored in either the at web servlet annotation or in the web.xml deployment descriptor file. Generally, it's best to retrieve it within the servlet init method. Let's first take a look at how we can create our servlet initialization parameters. For this example, I have already created an Eclipse Dynamic Web Project. Within Java Resources, the source folder, I've created one package called Controllers. Let's create a servlet within the Controllers package. Right-click on Controllers, select New Servlet, note on the first dialog page the project that it's in and the source folder and which package. I'm going to call the class name initialization underscore demo. Note that the superclass is the HTTP servlet. Click on Next. You might recall this page when we set URL mappings. Note that we can also add initialization parameters in the middle box of the dialog. To do so, click Add. When we click Add, we get a smaller dialog which will ask us the variable name, the value that we want to initialize it as, and a brief description. I'm going to create one string, one called Title, and I'm going to give it one of my favorite book titles called Cryptonomicon. And I'll write a brief description. Once you've entered in the fields for this initialization parameter, hit OK. And you can see that that's added to the list. We can continue to add more. I think I'll do one more to get a number in here. we we'll call this year. Let's set the initial value to 2002. I'm not completely certain that's the right copyright year. And as a description, I'm going to write copyright year. And click OK. And now you see that the second initialization parameter is included in the list. We could continue and add more. I'm going to adjust my URL mapping. Recall we do this by selecting the URL mapping and either adding or editing. I'm going to edit the current one and I'm just going to change it to say slash do demo. I'll hit next. I want to be sure that I include on this page the do post or the do get which I'm going to use to run the servlet but also, since I now want to retrieve initialization parameters, the best place to do that is in the init method. So let's check init. At this point, we are finished with our setup for the servlet, so click on the Finish button. In the center editor window, we now see initialization underscore demo dot java. I'm going to double click on the tab to make it full screen. Let's have a look at our web servlet annotation. Note that it includes two things, URL patterns and init params. The braces follow URL patterns show that we have changed the URL pattern to do demo. So whenever a do demo request comes into the server, it will associate that with this servlet and will attempt to run it. We also see that init params has been created it's equals and it's a list inside of braces. We see another annotation, the at web init param, one for each of our initialization parameters. Note how the first one, title, is listed. Notice that they're also comma separated. As a quick mental exercise, let's say that we forgot another init parameter. How would you go and add it? 
If you thought that possibly you can edit right here within the at web servlet annotation, then you would be correct. Just make sure that they're comma separated and that they all start with the at web init param annotation. Now that we've actually set our web initialization parameters, we're going to need to want to hold on to them in the servlet as pretty much an instance variable for our servlet class. So let's declare for a, our initialization demo servlet a couple of instance variables. Call the first one private string title and the second one as private int year. These will be instance variables for the servlet just like they are for any other Java class. They will be accessible for any method within the servlet. So having added our field level variables, let's scroll down until we find the init method. When the web server receives the first request for this particular servlet, it will instantiate the servlet. One of the first methods that will run right after it's instantiated is the init method. So this makes it a good place for us to actually set our instance variables equal to the initialization parameters. Note, within the init parameter method parameters, the server passes us a servlet config object and it's called config. This allows us to get the initialization parameters using a method of the config object. So simply type this dot title, referencing our instance variable title, set it equal. Now type config dot, note we have a number of methods that comes with the config object and right at the top Eclipse assumes we want the get init parameter. So let's click that and now we just have to set the argument. Recall that the title is stored with the name title. So we want to put the argument in, in quotes, and spell the name for the particular initialization parameter exactly case sensitive as it is in the web init param annotation. Keep in mind that the get init parameter, much like a request.getParameter method, will always return a string. So for our next one, when we want to get the year, if we want to store that as an integer, we're going to need to convert that in some way. I'm going to work from the inside out on this one. First, let's retrieve the initialization parameter, get init parameter method, and inside we'll put the argument for the year, capital Y, because it's case sensitive. Now we want to convert that to an integer, so I'm going to use the integer dot parse int method. That will return an integer which now we can assign to our instance variable for year. Now what's going to happen is when the first request comes into the servlet, the servlet object will be instantiated, creating a blank instance that includes our title and year as instance variables, and initially they will be a blank string and zero respectively. The init method will then run, pulling in a config object handed to it by the server. The config object's get init parameter method will then be used to call the web init parameters and it will in turn get the title and set it to the instance variable title and the year and set it to the instance variable year. Now these variables are also usable in our various methods. So if we want to test this we can simply write in a, one of our methods our do get or our do post a simple system dot out dot print line this dot title and system dot out dot print line this dot year. So when this servlet runs this will simply print these values out to the console. Again I'm just doing a quick test just to see if I can read those initialization parameters. Once I do beyond that will depend upon the particular problem I'm trying to solve with my MVC design pattern. 
So let's add something that will run and cause this to work. Let's simply write a new JSP file. I'll call that lowercase i index.jsp. Hit finish. Make a nice title. I'll also make that a visible headline. Then I'm simply going to make a hyperlink. Recall we want to do demo to run that. In the absence of using a method, this will send a GET request. And it should run our servlet. So I'll build the project run as on server here we see our first page click do demo of course I don't see anything resulting from the servlet but if I go back to Eclipse and look at the console I do see that it did print the two values that were asked so I successfully retrieved the servlet initialization parameters. And then I'm free to use them as I see fit and even reset the servlet instance variables. For more information about servlet initialization parameters, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. This has been a Piercy production.